morning everybody. Hello, this is Lisa from Echo Yoga. Welcome to our yoga class today. It's raining as you can probably hear. I'm in the conservatory so you can certainly hear all the rain falling on the, on the roof today. But we're going to spend some time doing some gentle stretches lying on the mat. A few of our favourite poses and then we're going to spend some time working on mudras and mudras are shapes that we make with our fingers. So the second part of the class today will be a game where it will be working with our fingers and making those shapes and seeing the differences that they can make to some of the poses that we do. So let's start off and come and lie down on the mat. So get yourselves nice and comfortable. First of all, we're going to lie down on the mat, settle ourselves down, relax, and take some big breaths in and out, okay? In through the nose, and out through the mouth. And if you want to, you can rest your hands on your tummy, and as you breathe in, feel that tummy blow up like a balloon, and as you breathe out, Feel it all come back down. So notice how your tummy's moving as you breathe in and you breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. Once more breathing in and breathing out. Close your eyes. Notice how the body's moving. And maybe it might be raining where you are today, and you might hear the rain where you are as well. But that doesn't stop us having a good time. Bring the hands down by the side of the body and we're going to have a lovely big stretch first of all, okay? So to breathe in and lift those arms up overhead, stretch the whole of the body, stretch the toes, point the toes. The body's the longest it can possibly be. And then breathing out, bring those arms back down to the side. And again, breathing in. Arms up, oh, stretching that body, and breathing out, and slowly coming back down. And if somebody can sit there with you to help you move in your hands, that's fine. We're still getting that full stretch and movement in the body. So last time, breathing in all the way, lift those arms up, stretch the body, And breathing out, bring those arms all the way back down. Well done. And the next pose that we're going to do is make ourselves into a banana shape. So it's a bit like a semicircle, a bit like a curve. Maybe it's that little sliver of a small moon in the sky, if you remember that shape. So we're going to take our feet to the right side of the mat. Now remember, my right hand doesn't have anything on it. I always wear something on my left. So we're going to take our feet out to the right side of the mat. Breathe in and lift our arms up. And hold onto the wrists and lean over towards the right. So we're in that banana shape. So we're stretching the whole of the left side of the body. Lovely. So really stretching there. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. I'm going to let go of our hands. Slowly bring our arms back down to the side. And move our feet into the middle. And move them out to the left side of the mat. Breathe in and take our arms up. And then we're going to hold onto our right wrist this time, so we're going to 
stretch over towards the left. So we're making that banana shape in the opposite direction. Really stretching. Lovely. So we'll feel that stretch on the right side of the body. If you want to do this standing up, of course you can do this standing up, but sometimes it's just nice to try it a little bit different. And lying down is lovely. Then let go of the hands. Bring the hands back down to the middle. And bring the feet into the middle as well. Well done, everyone. So still lying on our backs. And bend our knees. Bend our legs so our knees are pointing to the ceiling, okay? And then we're going to take our arms out to the side. So it's like a big T position. And we're going to do a twist. We're going to drop our knees to the side. And we're going to do both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you do first. Okay? So if we breathe out, we're going to drop our knees to one side. And I'm going to look over the opposite arm. So you're looking the other way to your knees. Then come up to the middle. Bring your head back to the middle as well. And drop the knees the other side. And we're going to look over the other arm. Well done. Fantastic, everyone. Do that once more each side. So back up to the middle. Dropping those knees. Down again. We'll look over the opposite arm. Well done. Back up to the middle. And then we go down the other side. And look over the opposite arm. So we're really stretching our body. Lovely. Now bring those knees back up to the middle. Bring your arms back in. So this is a lovely position for us to do um, a hip opener called the number four. So keeping our right leg bent, we're going to bring the left leg across like a number four. Like you're crossing the legs, but we're, what we're doing is we're stretching our hips. This is really good. So we're going to sit here and feel that stretch in that leg. Well done, everyone. And then we're going to uncurl that leg and we'll do the other side. So taking the right leg across over the left this time. We've got that number four other way. Well done. Brilliant. Let them cross that leg. And we're going to do a bridge pose. So we're going to lift our bottom off the floor using our leg muscles and keeping our chest on the floor, okay? So hands by the side of your bottom again. Breathe in, pull in your tummy muscles, and push your bottom up. That's it, push that bottom up. Oh, well done, everyone. And then bring it back down. Slowly bring it back down. Everything slow movements in yoga. So again, breathing in. Lift that bottom up, push that bottom up, use those strong leg muscles. Oh, really get that strength in there. And then bring them back down. Lovely, well done. Now, as we're in this position, it makes it lovely and easy and safe for our backs to do some leg work. So first of all, with our right leg, I'm going to lift that right leg up. So it's strong on our legs. And let's make some circles with our feet. First of all. Both ways. 
molds out everywhere. And now we're going to point and flex those toes. Ooh. So they're stretching your leg muscles as well, that is. Well done. Now bring that leg down and we'll do the opposite one. So lift the other leg up. I've got my light on today because it's so dark and rainy outside. And bring that foot back down. Right, we're going to come up into a seated position. So you can either come onto your side or push yourself up, or if you want to, you can put your hands underneath your thighs, underneath the top parts of your legs, and gently. See what you think. Well done, everyone. Brilliant stuff. So we're in our lovely seated position. And we'll start by doing our butterfly pose. So bring your feet together. Legs like a diamond or the wings of a butterfly. Hold on to those toes. Gently move those legs as if they are the wings of a butterfly. Well done. Great stuff. Then let go of those toes. Bring your knees together. And we'll come on to our hands and knees. So, we're going to come into our cat and cow poses. So hands are under our shoulders and knees are under our hips. We breathe in and dip our bellies and look up. And breathe out and push our legs up. Well done. Breathe in, dip our bellies and look up. And breathe out and push it up. Well done. Brilliant. I know this is Izzy's favourite pose. We'll do it once more. Breathing in, dipping our bellies up. You can make sound effects if you want to. That's entirely up to you to add to the fun. Breathing out and pushing up into that cat pose. Well done, everyone. So let's come back into that lovely, strong tabletop. Now we're going to add a little balance here. Sorry, all my trousers. And we're going to balance with our arms and our legs. Okay, so coming back, we're going to try first of all lifting just one leg up the back. Okay, just lift one leg. So strong arms, strong leg. And then I want you to see if you can lift the opposite arm. It's not the same side, it's the other side. So if you, our right leg is out and our left arm is out the front as well. Well done. There might be some wobbling, that's fine. Give it a go and come back. And let's do the other side. So it's our left leg is out. Stretch that leg out. This is strong. These are strong balances, these are really testing us today. And then take our right arm out the front. Well done. Bring that right arm back. Left arm down. Well done. And we're going to move into child's pose. So we're taking our knees wide, our toes together, our knees wide. So we're sitting on our heels, making a V shape with our legs. And we're going to lean forward. Just lean forward. Arms out in front if you want. 
Or if you prefer to have the hands by the side, that's okay as well. But this is really good for stretching our hips. into that lovely seated position. Okay everyone, so in this part of the yoga class we're going to do some moves with our, our fingers and these are called mudras, mudras and they can be used with any of the yoga poses that we do. They help us with our balance, can help us with calming um, and reducing anxiety so they're they're really good and they're really good at getting flexibility back into our fingers as well so let's start with one that we use quite a lot with our palms together so if you put your palms together at your heart center these are our namaste hands so at the end of class when we say thank you for practicing yoga with us we use our hands at our heart center and this, with our hands in this position, brings balance because our hands are right in the center of our body and we're holding in a lovely, settled, calm position. So let those hands go from that position. And another one that I know that we've used when we've done our goddess pose in particular, is the lotus flower. So bringing the palms of the hands together, so the little finger and the, and the thumbs are together, we're going to slowly move our fingers out. So it's just below my face. So it looks like a flower, like a lotus flower blooming and opening. As we bring our hands back, flower closes just like it is before it blooms and then we can open it all out nice and wide and the lotus flower is about kindness it's one of the most famous symbols of yoga and we can use that in some of our poses as well so give that a go if you need somebody to help you get your hands in that position, that's perfectly fine. Brilliant. And another one that we use is um, what we call our owl mudra. So our first finger and our thumb on each hand. If you first of all, we make an owl, like an owl mask with our face. And then take the hand away, and you can see the finger and the thumb come up. So the palms of the hand are facing up to the sky. And we've got this mudra. And often this is used for when we do meditation. You might often see this. I think this has been used in, in a famous film that one of my group members always talks about, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, I think he uses this when he practices yoga. So that might be familiar to you there, and that's all about thinking and balance. Let's have a go, lovely, and let it go. I just think it's a little bit, a little bit of a wiggle. And the other one that is really good as well as an energising hand movement is our butterfly one. So with your hands out in front of you, to cross them over. So we link our thumbs. See it better if I lower my hands in front of my leggings. Yeah. We're going to bend those hands up. 
so they're coming more towards us, towards our chest. And you can either rest them on your chest, or you can keep them a little bit forward, and they look like the wings of a butterfly. And these are energizing. So it helps us get more energy, the day, feel often happier because we've got more energy, eager for the day to start. Well done. So I'll show you that one again. So the hands out in front, cross the right over the left, and interlink, join up those thumbs. Yeah? And you lift the arms up. That's it. And your fingers spread nice and wide, like butterfly wings. Well done. And our last mudra is a famous one. Um, I think it was made very famous by some Welsh footballers a couple of years ago, in particular Gareth Bale. This is our heart mudra. So again, it's our first finger and thumb. Joined up together, making a heart shape. Just take it there to the heart. So you can do it if you join your finger and thumb together, like this, like the owl mudra first of all, and then join the two fingers and the thumb, and then stretch them out. So that's our heart mudra. Just opening up our heart and spreading love, being open to love and kindness. And we use that in any moves we want to. Well done. So give those hands a little bit of a shake. Let's do some wrist circles. Let's just make a few less. Well done, everyone. Now, hug. Let's hug ourselves. That's really important being kind to ourselves, showing love to ourselves as well. And the other way. And then when you're ready, come and lie down on your mat or on your sofas, wherever you are at home, and we'll start our relaxation. So today, so we've got the wonderful sound effects of the rain and the water. I thought we'd take some time lying wherever we are, closing our eyes and listening to the sounds wherever you are. You may hear the rain where I am, or you may not. And often the sound of the rain can be quite a soothing noise. quite regular. And when you're safe and dry, you can hear the water trickling and running away down into the streams and the, the rivers. But you're safe and cosy and warm where you are and dry, just listening to those sounds. As you breathe in, calm breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to do some breath together today. We're going to count four to four as you breathe in, and then four as you breathe out. And I'll count with you. So as you breathe in, one, two, three, Four, out, one, two, three, four. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. And breathing out, one, two, three, and four. Breathe in. 
one, two, three, four, and out. One, two, three, and four. And carry that on, see if you can count to four by yourself. Or whoever's with you, count to four. In and out. And notice if your tummy rises and falls as you do the breathing. to relax each part of our body, so our toes all the way to the tops of our heads. So our toes, the bottoms of our feet, heels and our ankles are all relaxed. The lower legs, knees and tops of our legs are all relaxed. The hips, tummy, our abdomen and our chest are all relaxed. Our shoulders, arms, wrists, hands and fingers are all relaxed. The muscles in our neck and our face are relaxed. The top of our head, back of our head and the back of our body are all relaxed. The whole of the body is relaxed. I'm going to leave you in the silence and the quiet to enjoy the relaxation in a few more minutes. Okay everyone, time to start to wake up, take a deep breath, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big stretch, wriggling those fingers and toes, and come up and sit when you're ready in a seated position. With your legs crossed if you wish. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the yoga class today. Thank you for practicing with me and I'll see you soon. Namaste.